Welcome to Lair of the Alchemist, where we discuss all things heavy metal and hard rock. On today's episode, five more awesome instrumentals. This is a part two in my series. Uh, and as I mentioned in the other video, I am a big fan of instrumentals. I think they add a different mood, a different texture to an album and the sequencing of a record. It gives the band and the guitar players a chance to stretch out and the band to maybe do some things and try some things that they wouldn't do in a song with vocals. So in case you don't know, an instrumental is a song that has no vocals in it. So, all right. So my last list uh, was mostly like hard from the hard rock, rock world, 70s based mostly. Uh, for this one, I leaned more towards more heavy metal instrumentals. So let's get started in no particular order. Five more instrumentals that I really dig. All right. Michael Shanker's Captain Nemo. I picked this album because this was the first Michael Shanker album that I had. And Captain Nemo is the opening track on this. And when I heard that, I was just like, wow, this is so cool. Starts so with the chord, him bending the neck, and then it's got that quirky uh, main riff there. You know, like off of his open strings. And uh, it's just really, really weird, but catchy. And then it's got like that uh, bluesy bend part. Do, 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 ba, da, 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 da. You know, Michael with these great melodies. To me, that's when My Michael Schenker shines. He has such a, he's so melodic in his feel and his vibrato and everything. And it's just all over this. There's still a lot of great sort of chopsy technical guitar runs in here. This part where does this big like, ba, da, 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 like thing all the way up the neck. Uh, I love when it uh, breaks down into that spot where there's like a, the keyboard sort of takes over and then uh, the guitar does underneath it. It's almost like a classical like thing. And then it breaks into that big melody. Uh, he gets a chance to stretch out and shred a little bit on it. And then at the end, it sort of slows down. Dun, dun, ba, da, 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 da. Just like a great... Like, it's like an overture, and what a great uh, album opener. You know, it just sort of sets the mood. It's like, uh, it's like all right, like a movie overture or a, or a classical concert overture. And this song is just, I love it because it has a little bit of like a classical element there with some of the keyboard stuff, some of the chord progression. There's some bluesy licks. There's some fast licks. There's classic Schenker melodicism all over it. So just an awesome one. Uh, Michael Schenker, uh, Captain Nemo something that he would play all the time in his live shows. All right, let's jump to the 80s when guitar shredders ruled the world, when shredding ruled the world. Here was one of, here was one of the guys who was right at the top of that heap. Dawkins from Back for the Attack, George Lynch's Mr. Scary. Uh, George Lynch was uh, one of the great 80s guitar shredders. He had a really unique tone, unique way of playing. His lead sound to me has this really great like sustained, compressed, laser focused sound and he's just all over this song. I love the main riff in it. The you know, and it's got that melody with like that diminished fifth thing. And I also love the drums in this. The drums are, ba -da -da -da, are doing like these, these funky things. Da -da 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 -da. Ga -ga -ga -ga. These hits and there's like some, I don't know if they're rototoms, timbales or something. Ra -ga 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 -ga. Do the thing. It's got all these changes. And this is just, this is really a showcase for George here. He shreds all over this. George's lead playing is really unique. He has his own sound and sort of his own style. And he's all over this. I don't know if he had the nickname Mr. Scary. Before this, it doesn't matter because he's he's all over this and it just makes total sense because his guitar playing is scary on this song and this would become a trademark song for him that he would play in his solo bands and play afterwards. And in the 80s, when guitar shredding was at its zenith here, this was, uh, you know, I this really reminds me of the mid 80s when this stuff was really, really popular and you could do something like this on a, on, with a band like Dokken that was a pretty commercial metal hard rock band but you could put an instrumental like that on there and it just it made sense it worked and the fans wanted to hear that stuff because that was a big thing back then your guitar hero in your band and george lynch was one of those guys 
All right, uh, next, these guys have a couple instrumentals on some of their earlier stuff. Iron Maiden from their first album, the song Transylvania. It's great. It's like fast and aggression. New wave of British heavy metal, super tight, dialed up to 10. Uh, at this time, you know, there weren't really many bands playing this tight and this fast. Iron Maiden really showing off their chops with the guitar playing and the harmonies. Uh, you know, it's got like a fist in the air part. This is sort of some gear changes a little bit. Steve Harris's bass sounds great on this album, and he's all over this song with all these bass fills to Clive Burr's all over the drums. So everybody gets a chance to instrumentally shine on this. And I love the way the song ends. It hits that big chord and just sort of holds it out there. And, and then it uh, fades into a uh, strange world, right? Yeah, strange world. It just sort of fades off into ba 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 ba. Great, one of my favorite Iron Maiden instrumentals. I wish Iron Iron Maiden would do more instrumentals. All right, maybe this might be one of the most famous heavy metal instrumentals of all time, and it's it's got to be up there as as one of the best. I'm talking about Orion from Metallica's Master of Puppets. Uh, this song is Cliff Burton. Uh, he's all over this. He wrote wrote this. Uh, all, it's, it's just awesome. It's got all these different changes, different sections to it, these distorted bass solos. I love the part where everything drops down and he's doing the do da da do da da do da do da 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 And those guitar harmonies come in. There's all these great movements. It's really like an orchestral piece, man. There's just melodies coming in and out. I love the spot where it's like trading the guitar solos a little bit. The, the distorted bass takes a solo. There's bass all over this. Just a great, great piece. Sits fantastically on the album. Uh, all the, it's, it's moody, with all the changes and everything. Uh, just great. It's a really sad. Uh, Cliff Burton, you wonder where he could have taken Metallica, where he would have gone as a player. This is sort of a glimpse of that, of, of what Cliff Burton brought to the band and what a great bass player and composer uh, that he was. So awesome instrumental, showed up in a lot of people's comments from the last video. Uh, you got to say this is one of the best heavy metal instrumentals of all time, Metallica's Orion. All right, last one. I put this one at the opposite end of Michael Schenker because he's also on this one from Scorpion's Love Drive, the song Coast to Coast. Michael Schenker played on a bunch of songs on this, wrote a bunch of songs, and Coast to Coast is one of them. And I love this song. It is such a great, great instrumental. And it's not really like one in like a chopsy way, like there's a whole bunch of soloing or something. It is just so melodic though, and the riffs are so cool. That made... You know, but that part is just great. I love that. You call it like the it's really structured like a song. You have the verse part. You know, that's like the verse, and then the is the chorus of the song, and it is so catchy. I mentioned earlier with Michael Shanker and Captain Nemo, you know, it's, I always think of Shanker is so melodic, and he's just all over this. Great feel. I love, there's like a part in where there's like this big guitar run, you know, building up like that, and the, you know, I guess it would be like the guitar lead in this. That he does it, it's oh man, it's so melodic. It just it sends a shiver up my spine. I love the feel of the song. It's sort of slightly held back, and it has this nice sort of groove to it. It's a little bit atmospheric. Just an awesome, awesome instrumental. So all right, there you go. Five more cool instrumentals that I really like. You're leaning a little bit more towards the heavy metal side of things. Uh, let me know what you think of these instrumentals. Uh, let me know. You've given me a lot of great suggestions in the other comment section. Keep them coming because I'm going to do some more videos. I've got some more lined up. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until we see you again, make sure you stay heavy, stay metal.